Hello, my name's Nigel. This is going to be a tutorial on setting up a basic map and putting icons on that map and being able to filter those icons so you can sort of um, see which icons you want displayed on the map. Let me give you an example of what I mean here. So basically I've set up this map here and it's got a couple of icons. You can click on them and get a little box pop up. And if we go and we click on this little um, link here, this drop down box here. Yes. Um, we can get other icons. So basically, what I've done here is I've grouped um, medium, say for medium population size, will show up on here. And if I click for large populations, and I've just entered a couple of entry points on the map here. And you'll get like Sydney and Brisbane show up, show up. So basically, what we're showing here is how to implement inserting these markers onto a map, and then um, we can sort of set up a grouping system of uh, what cities will be displayed that are large populations, what cities will be displayed that are medium populations, and etc. Which gives an example of Drupal taxonomy terms. We can group that sort of data there. By implementing this um, drop-down box here, and um, this is a setup via views, um, exposing some fields. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. So if you want to um, learn how to do that, uh, follow the rest of the tutorial with me. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do here is I always say for prerequisites. Um, it's good if you've had exposure to Drupal 7 before and Views 3. Um, if, if you've had exposure to those two before, this tutorial is going to be very straightforward. If you haven't, you can still do the tutorial, but there are quite a few concepts might seem a bit alien if it's the first time you're looking at it. Okay, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be implementing just the Geo field for this. And Geo field's got a, um, a, a view support called Geo field Maps. So we just need to install the geo field. Um, to support entering data onto the map, I'm going to be using the geocoder uh, module here. And to allow the translation of these coordinates, we use the geo field PHP module. So you definitely have to install these. And to be able to use Drupal views, you need C tools along with that as well. OK, so um, basically I'm going to be just doing this on a vanilla um, basic Drupal install and um, I've basically just installed and enabled these modules here. Okay, let's get started. So here's my site here. It's basically just got the modules I was talking about and they're enabled. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is just enable some taxonomy, uh, taxonomy vocabulary and add some terms to that. What that will do is that will give us our grouping, how we can gr uh, from the example of how we can group large populations, medium-sized populations. But that's just an example of grouping. So let's get that established first. Add a vocabulary. I'm going to call mine population size. Save that. I'll be naughty and not add a description. Okay, now I'm going to add some terms to that vocabulary. Very basic, small, it stands for small population, and medium for medium sized population. Bear in mind, I might not be totally accurate with the size of the city to the term, but this, the main outcome here is just to give you an example of what we're trying to do. And large for large size population it's been saved so if we go back to our vocabulary we should be able to see our terms we've got our three terms here and we don't need to do any more to that I'm gonna create a content type and I'm gonna add a field that links to these views here uh, to these terms here should I say and then you'll see what we're gonna do later on Okay, so the next step here is I need to add a content type. So go down to content type, add a content type. And I'll call mine Aussie Cities. And I just need to do a bit of um, tweaking to these settings here. Um, 
disable most of them actually so we don't need them for this particular content type right now I'm going to save and add fields there's two fields I want to add first thing I'm going to do is I don't need a body for this um, example so I'm just going to delete that right now the first thing I'm going to add is the geo field. The geo field is the thing that gives us the longitude and latitude to implant on top of the map. So let's just call it city geo field. And down here it's actually a geo field type, field type. Okay, now this is the key thing here. When I talked about um, adding the geo code module, uh, currently for I don't actually have a map. Uh, at the date of this tutorial so I'm just going to enter the geocode which is, which is fine um, uh, it'll make it quite easy for the um, example I'm giving save that and save field settings okay so basically if you look at geocode from field I'm just going to select the title so whatever I call the title which will be a name of the city that, that that will be looked up if we look in the next one down in the geocode. So the Drupal geocode is going to grab the name that I'm going to get, the city name, and then it's going to return to me the coordinates, I believe, in the longitude and latitude settings that I can then feed into the um, geofield map itself. So I'm just going to keep these settings. If, if you don't have these settings set, change them. And I'm going to keep everything else here and just save that. I want to add another field. This field here is going to be our um, vocabulary with the terms we created. So it's going to be population size will do. Population size term I've set here. Um, just checking the machine name here. So when whatever you type here sort of gets translated into a lowercase underscore um, uh, definition here of the machine name and for this I'm going to select um, terms it's called term reference and I'm going to select a list for this save that okay so automatically the, the uh, vocabulary I created um, population size is already selected and I'm going to I can just keep these settings and save that Right, I've now created my content type with two fields. One's the geo field, um, which we're going to be using for actually getting the coordinates to put on top of the map for each city. And the second one is going to be what we're going to be using for our grouping, grouping the cities by large, smaller, or medium. Okay, next step um, I'm going to do is to go into views and add a new view. Okay, so I'll just call this Oz cities you can use uppercase in the view name notice how it gets translated to lowercase and underscore to keep the machine name and I'm just going to disable that this is my habit of disabling everything and then select continue and edit okay I'm going to add a page first thing a page needs is a path to that page so let's make it nice and simple Oz and apply that Okay, the next thing we need to do is add some fields. Um, the f the, the, these are what we want displayed onto our page. Notice by default we already have the title. Um, the geo field map does require the geo field um, set of fields that we created in our content type, so we'll add that. I'm just going to override that and type geo field because that was the name I used. Okay, and so, so here it is here, city geo field. And I spelled cities wrong, never mind. Okay, and apply this display. I don't need labels, and as long as the formatter is well known text and the data options are using the full geometry, that should be fine. These came out as a default for me, and apply that. Okay, I'm going to add one more field, which is going to be our terms. So if I type term in the search field here, if I can spell correctly, which I can't. Okay, 
So select all taxonomy terms and apply that. Again, take away the labels. Okay, I'm gonna unclick this link here because what I wanna use these terms is, uh, is a filtering the data that's currently there. I don't wanna select the term and actually go to the term page as such. And now I'm gonna enable this limit terms by, by vocabulary and select my vocabulary, which is the one I created, population size for this example, and apply that. Right, so I'm sort of happy with all those fields here. Next thing I'm going to go up into the format list, select that and override that, just have it and select the geo field map here and apply that. Okay, for the geo field source, we need to we're we're using our geo field field here which holds our coordinates. So we'll select that. And for pop-up text, all I need is the title for this example. Um, if we go back to that and drop down again, um, I could select any particular field here, but I'm just going to select the title just to keep it nice and simple. And I'm not just going to keep the rest of the default settings here and apply that. Okay, I think I'm happy at this stage of where we're at. Now the first step to do, I want to do is I just want to see that I've got a map with the markers showing on it. And from all the settings we've actually put here, that should be enough um, configuration to do that. So save our view. Now I'm just going to create a little menu here, just, just to make it easier to go to that map. So add a link to the main menu. I will call it Oz. And it's in the path that we set in our view, put Oz, and save that. There it is there, so I can step out of this by crossing out. There's my map, so if I select that tab, and we have nothing showing. Let's work out what's going on here. I was a bit silly here. I don't actually have any content created to show on the map, so that should be our first step. So uh, the, the next step after we've completed our view. So if we go to add content, add an Aussie city size, someone's language of cities. Um, first one, let's add Perth. Set the population as medium and save that. Okay, if we select on the Yelts tab now, here we have, we have our map and we've got our three markers that we set up for just creating our content type. And we select on those, we get a little box pop up because we just selected the content title there. Okay, that's the first part of the tutorial done. Um, what we want to do now is we want to filter the large population countries, which would be this example here, or the medium size here, and have a little drop down tab that sort of dynamic, dynamically does that for us. Okay, so to do that, we need to go back into our views. Here it is here, our cities. Okay, now we want to expose those terms to um, in the sidebar. So to do that, we to expose filters, we go into the filter criteria and uh, search for terms. I'm going to use has taxonomy term and apply that. Okay, the vocabulary is selected right, population size, and I want to use the drop down box here and apply that. And I'm just going to go as all of one of these terms here. We can just say large, select the default setting here. Now, the key point here is we want to expose those terms so the user can actually set if he wants to see all the largest size populations and medium sized populations. So we click on expose this filter to that. Okay, now apply this display. Okay, now we just need to do a little bit more, more tweaking here. Ajax, we need, we're going to enable Ajax so we don't have to use the enter button. I'm just going to override this display here. Okay, 
Right. And now if we go up to the exposed form here, we want to provide a block, and that block will go into our sidebar to the left, so say yes. Okay, and go into settings here. I'm just going to select auto submit, just so when I select the city, the change happens automatically without pressing a submit button. Ah, let's override this. When I override a display, it means the settings are only going to take place in the page itself. So if I added other pages or blocks, they wouldn't be affected by these settings here. So I tend to like to do that. Okay, I believe that's enough, so I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to go into my blocks. Remember when I enabled block in my view? So if we scroll down to the disabled views, here it is here at the top at the top of the display it's disabled. So we've got the Oz Cities page. So I'm going to select that to the sidebar first. Scroll up, and I'm just going to have that sitting underneath my navigation bar. Okay, we need to save that first, and then I'm going to go back to the settings here, select configure. Now I, I'm going to select only listed pages is Oz. So I don't want this sidebar map showing up on any other pages. I save that block. Now, if we close this overlay, okay, so here, here we have it here now. We've got our little display box here. So if we click on large, we see the two large uh, population cities, which are Sydney and Brisbane. If we click on medium, it should take us to Perth, which it does. So what we learned from this tutorial was how to set up marks on your map yet, and then adding a filter bar on filtering your content. So you can basically group your content. We use the vocabulary for that. Basically, we grouped it by population size, but you can group it with any, everything. And then you can filter using views to that particular term in the, in the um, vocabulary that you created, such as medium or large. And so, yeah, this is just an example of just using the geofield map that comes supplied with the geofields and then um, basically setting up data and filtering that data dynamically. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please pop over to my home site, which is DrupalOverEasy.com, and I'll, I'll be um, glad to um, you know, uh, respond to any uh, questions, comments, or any, anything as such like that. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye for now.